Good evening gamers and welcome to the new segment I'm putting on this show. Uh, it's called the weekly anime recommendation where I recommend an anime that I've watched over the last week for you. Um, so as we all know, uh, there's a lot of anime out there which ranges from you know trash to really trash and so I'm gonna sift through all the garbage, all of the litter and I'm gonna pick out the few good ones that I that I enjoy and I'm gonna share it with you every week hopefully every week we'll see we'll see if my uh, my schedule allows for that so how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna have my anime I'm gonna talk about it a little bit I'm gonna break it down into sort of four criteria that for me make a good anime so that's gonna be the animation the characters the originality of the story and finally sort of the BS meter so there's like a certain level of cringe that I can tolerate but past that point it kind of cuts into the enjoyment for me so I'm gonna throw that in there as well now maybe you're you're a different kind of anime watcher and you like those you know big anime titties I I'm not a fan of that so I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it you know according to the anime I like all right so I have a real work of art today for my first ever anime recommendation and that is gonna be Sunny Boy uh, an anime directed by Shingo Natsumi uh, which came out in 2021 man I really hope I'm saying that guy's name right uh, that'd be kind of goofy if I wasn't Anyway, so the best way I know how to describe this anime is imagine the writers of Stranger Things like dropped a bunch of acid and then like had a baby with like a multiverse movie. Like Stranger Things had a baby with like, I don't know, multiverse of madness or something. Minus the bad storylines because there were a lot of really bad storylines in that movie. The plot is essentially like any school anime except that it's um, their classroom essentially one day vanishes and appears in a multiverse and so the whole series is sort of following this group of 36 characters as they sort of they navigate this multiverse environment that they've been thrust into right um, every episode is sort of a new multiverse and a new experience for the characters and I really love the way the show and the narration kind of dance from character to character it's like you'll be watching one character and paying attention to that storyline and it's artfully interwoven with all the other storylines. You'd think it would be confusing with all of sort of the, I don't know, psychedelic visuals, the 36 characters, and you know, the multiverse that's going on, but it's really not. It's very, it's very condensed and the storyline is almost simple. The way it's done with 36 characters, it's like you never get bored of any one character, at least I didn't when I was watching it. Um, and it was really an engaging style. In addition to that, um, sort of the style of storytelling, I'll call it, I really, really like the, the visuals. Like, it's done in sort of a retro anime style. Um, you, you can watch it and you can tell it's, it's more of a modern, um, it's a modern animation. But the style that they went for with the characters is, uh, it feels very 2D retro. Um, it's really interesting to watch, I like it, and the music as well really elevates the rest of the show. I think the last episode, when you get to it, if you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, there's this moment where sort of the visuals and the sound and everything, the story has kind of come to a head and everything just kind of comes together. I think most good anime have a moment like that. I think most good movies have a moment like that. But I just thought, um, I don't even know what I'm saying. Like I said, like almost every movie has something like that where there's like a powerful moment of like visuals and story and music, but um, I really enjoyed that moment in Sunny Boy, but I mean, who doesn't enjoy those kinds of moments? The pros of this of this series, I like that there was basically no fan service. Um, that could be a con, depending what kind of anime fan you are, um, but I'm gonna count it as a pro. Um, it was very philosophical. I got vibes like End of Evangelion, um, where it's just, it's very philosophical solely for the sake of being philosophical. Some people like that, some people don't. Um, I liked it, I thought it was a, it made the story a lot better. Every single episode had sort of a new question that was raised. Each multiverse sort of had a new set of challenges and a new question and I, I really liked that a lot. Some were obviously more philosophical than others, but um, generally it made me think, which I, I like to do. Or do I, I don't know. Um, uh, what else did I have on my, oh yeah, good characters. All the characters, like I said, there were 36 characters. Um, a lot of them kind of don't get a lot of time in the limelight, but every single character I'd say has intentional decisions made about them. Like every single character has something unique, something that sort of piques your interest. 
it's like there aren't really any background or side characters or well there are background and side characters but even they have sort of a interesting like quirk about them that makes everybody uh sort of snap on like or at least it made me sort of like there are little things that i noticed about all the characters right all 36 of them um as for cons i uh there were a lot of plot points that were unresolved it was like i said it was sort of like a psychedelic trippy kind of a show with like a lot of stuff going on but it didn't do the best job of tying everything up with a nice bow at the end there are a lot of questions that you quite frankly you don't really get an answer to and that kind of bothered me i i kind of like i'm a big fan of the christopher nolan movies where everything sort of works out and everything you know fits in perfectly and when i think about the show there are moments that that doesn't happen and it kind of bothers me um but the story the rest of the story was so well written that i can overlook that and honestly i think some people like that um that sort of open-ended element um the second point that i didn't like about the anime but i'm sure other people would like um is it, the ending didn't really feel like an ending it was very unresolved it was um i mean there was an ending there was like a you know resolution but it it didn't feel it wasn't a satisfying ending so it, it kind of hurt me that i was so invested in the characters and then the ending that happened happened but um again i i'm a big fan of stories not necessarily having a happy you know, kosher ending. So, again, I think it's a benefit. I mean, it may not be a con, uh, depending on what what you're looking for in a story. So, finally, this leads me to my breakdown of my four criteria. I said I was going to rate these on, and these will be every week. So, I have uh, sort of like the BS tolerance or the level of anime cringe, which I gave a five out of five because there was practically none. Um, the characters, I gave a four out of five. They were Good character writing, there could have been stronger in my opinion, but I still think um, very good, so four out of five. Um, the animation, I give it a four out of five. It isn't, you know, the level of One Punch Man or probably not even like Death Note, but it was, it was watchable and it was very enjoyable and I think they made some very interesting stylistic choices going for sort of the retro uh, vibe with it. Uh, and then finally, the originality, I gave a 5 out of 5. It's one of the most original animes I've seen, one of the most original stories, um, and I would highly recommend you watch it. I, I watched this anime um, three or four months ago, and it has just been on my mind ever since. It's the kind of thing, you watch it, and it just kind of stays with you. You never stop thinking about it once you watch it, um, and I very much enjoyed it. Well, anyways, um, if you watch this, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be back hopefully next week um, with another one of these. Um, yeah, but thank you, and I'll see you maybe.